Hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to another video. For today, like I promised you guys, we'll be doing question and answer sessions. Today is about relationship. If you have any question you want to ask, if I know the answer, I will help. If I don't know the answer, I will ask our fellow uniques in the comment section to help. If nobody can help, we we'll go look for the answer. Maybe we'll keep it in the next day until we find an answer, okay? That's what we do here. Live from Atlanta, from Atlanta Georgia. Georgia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderfully made by God. God. Welcome to the prediction. And the worst part of it is that little girls now, little girls are doing it. Little, little girls. You will see house girl, house girl. She is so interested in her, in her madam's husband. And she's doing it with all, all seriousness. So she's trying to, to see whether she can seduce the man. Because she's thinking if I seduce the man, I will have the same life my madam has. And that's how they start thinking. They ask, that's how they start thinking. So even when you think, oh, this person is too small, there is no too small and too big now in, inside Chico. Everybody, because people are thinking that's a way for them to better their life. People are thinking that's a way for them to do better. Since they don't have a job, you go to school. You don't have money to pay for school fees. You finally find money to pay for school fees. You graduate. You will not a course you went to do for four years. You end up doing it for seven years because ASU is always on strike. After seven years, you finally graduate. There is no job for you for your degree. People, most of these truck pushers you see in the market are all graduates. Most of these people you see in the market selling tomato, all of most of them are graduates. No job, so they start pushing truck. They start doing all those things to survive. So what kind of a country is that then? They will look at themselves and say, the only way I can do better is to go after this man's, <clears throat> after this woman's husband or after this man's wife. Oh, let me go because that, that's, that will make me feel better. So that's the problem. Uh, so that's the problem. So guys, Bromasha, I know is, 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 um, is, is very, there's one of my friends, her name is, uh, my, my namesake too. So she said she went to, she was pregnant and she came back to Nigeria with her husband. So they went to a, a premiere, a movie premiere in Lagos. And when they got there, so she said that this waiter came and said, um, a lady over there sent me to give you guys a bottle of champagne. So the girl said, oh, oh no, tell her thank you. We don't need it. We already have champagne on our table. So the waiter took it back to whoever sent it. After some time, the man now came again with all kinds of meat, suya, blah, blah, blah. The same lady said, I should bring it over to you guys. I've told you guys this story before. So she told the girl, please tell her thank you. We are good. She said she was like six months pregnant. Her bump, her pregnancy bump was showing. So they took it back there. So she said that after some time, she wanted to go pee. So she got up and went to the bathroom. So after peeing, she came out. And when she came out, you know, to wash her hands, on the sink, by the sink, there's this lady standing there, very nice lady, curvaceous, you know, with nice shape, everything. And the lady was just leaning on that thing and just looking at her. So she said she just came out. She didn't know who the lady was. So she came out and was washing her hair. And the next thing she had the woman say was, do you want me to take him away from you or are you willing to share? She said she looked at the girl and looked behind her because she thought maybe she's talking to somebody else. So she looked, there was nobody behind her. She looked again, there was nobody. Then she turned around and looked at the girl. The girl said, I'm speaking to you. Do you want me to take him away from you? Or are you willing to share? I just like, because her husband is a half caste. Her husband is what we call half caste in Nigeria, but her husband is mixed. The mother is black and the, no, the father is black and the mother is white. So he's like a, 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 um, a mixed a mixed child so and the husband is very handsome very handsome guy you know with all the you know mixed children with blue eyes and the coily hair and stuff so the man the woman say i don't want your husband i just want him to just i just want to have a baby for him i want my baby to look like him and that's it you can have your husband i am rich i can take care of the baby all i want is just for him just one night 
get me pregnant, and then you go your merry way? Or do you want me to actually take him away from you? The girl said she was scared. She washed her hands, didn't even wipe it, ran out of the bathroom, went to where her husband was sitting and said, hey, you, we are leaving. The husband said, no, but the movie, she said, no, we are not staying, no. We are not staying. We need, <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> the husband said, what happened? So she told the husband, the husband was like, oh my God. You know, the man didn't really grow up in Nigeria. So he's like, oh my God, can people actually say things like that? He said, yes, let's go. So that's how she left and she told me this story. I was laughing. I said, oh my God, I didn't know people are that bold these days to come out and say what they want. But my, my brother and my sisters, that's, that's life. People are so desperate. They don't care. They don't care whether you be angry. They don't care whether you crying. They don't care whether your children will be hurt. They do not care. So I don't know. I just pray God will find a way to help us. That's all I can say.